when you go 0-2 in bracket, when you drop a rank online, when you just can't beat that boss, always say no to the rage. Grab our brand new shirt and tell the world to say no to their rage. Link is in the description below. Also available in mugs and hoodies. You're right. Let's go right now. Don't, I have a few choice words for you. Brat. Disgusting. Uh, trash. Uh, vile. Ugh. Bleh. Don't, don't tell me what to do. Yo! What's up, guys? PK Spark here, and welcome to part one of the story mode for Mario Tennis Aces. This game is not stopping. We have so much basic groundwork to get through before we can start getting to the advanced stuff. I'm going to be streaming this game on Twitch. I'm going to be uploading versus matches with your favorite content creators right here on YouTube. We just finished the Mario Tennis Aces Squad Tournament, so if you guys missed that, make sure you guys check out the playlist in the description below the entire tournament is now uploaded from the first match to the grand finals go on and show your love to that but today we're gonna be starting up the story mode um so i'm gonna make a quick disclaimer for everybody who may be like well pk you already know what's gonna happen pause i heard that when the game when you start the game up it throws you into the story mode immediately so what i did was i kept mashing the a button and i walked away I walked away so I could not hear it, just so I can get to the main menu. Then that's when we did the tournament. So I have just deleted that data. We are starting back from the beginning. This is all a raw reaction. But you guys already know I'm, I'm the zone shot champ. I'm here for a purpose, and that's destroying my enemies in this game. But we need, I just want to see what the story mode has in store for it before we start diving into the online. I can start uploading some competitive tips regarding the game and more. So... If you guys enjoy yourselves today, let me know. Demolish the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that you ring that bell to get notified of the next video. But, with that all said and done, let's get started. Woo! I'm excited. Mario and Peach, Bowser and Bowser Jr. Marina Stadium 2 game, 1 set match. Greetings to this fans. <clears throat> okay, Toe Voice. We're at a critical point in the finals, folks. Victory hangs in the balance. The unstoppable team of Mario and Peach is unsurprisingly reigning supreme. Bowser flew right through all of his energy in the first part of the match, and now he's in a pinch. Now we're at a match point. Team Mario is one point away from taking the championship. I love how Bowser and Bowser Jr. are evil, and yet we, they still allow them to just... Oh, this is clean. Oh, this is clean. A lob shot. Yo, Mario about to destroy that. It's over. You... Okay, wait. Isn't that out? No, wait, 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 the ball did not bounce. It went straight out. They should have lost. I, I appreciate the curtsy, but they should have lost. The rules of tennis say the, bo the ball has to bounce once. Hold up. Did, did they just get cheated? No, that's ball crap. Congratulations, champs. What amazing teamwork. Yeah. Good job, team. Now for the best part. Let's take a look at that shiny trophy and... Uh-oh. Looks like we have some visitors. It's like a bug's been flying around. It's bugging me. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, wait. Their eyes are purple. Why are their eyes purple? What are they doing? What's up, fam? We knew you'd steal another win. Waluigi's is actually speaking, not just why. <laughs> Crazy. And nice guys that we are. We have a little gift to honor the new champions. This is the most powerful racket in the world. It's the Infinity Racket. Oh, look at it. It's only suitable for... Uh, I don't know how to do a Waluigi voice. Yeah. Walu Waluigi. Okay. It's only suitable for the best of the best. <laughs> and Peter's like, I don't know about that. Hey, what's going on here? You two are acting mighty sketchy. Wow. Don't you like your gift, Mario? It's none other than... Wow. Wow. Wario. Wario. I'm trying to do a Wario voice. Go ahead one second. Wario. I am a Wario. I am not gonna win. Wait, yeah, that's what he says, right? I right, should be good. Don't you like your gift, Mario? It's none other than a legendary racket from the Temple of Basque. <laughs> a legendary racket from the Temple of Basque? Could it be? Oh, yeah. Look at Luigi. No, Luigi! <laughs> Look at Luigi, he's so childlike. Wow. Oh, this looks beautiful. 
Well, okay, not Luigi being possessed by something. Yo, look at Luigi! What is that? And how come Wario and Waluigi were able to grab it, but they weren't? Were they just mummified? So Luigi's a leader, he's commanding Wario and Waluigi? Oh, they're being sucked it or blown back. Yo, this is kind of crazy. Someone help Luigi! Oh, that's it? No? What, what's going on? Oh, man! That tornado was intense! It really messed up the stadium! Is my chair not pushing me all the way back? It's not. You know what I'm saying? That justice darn thing. I don't know why the DX Racer wasn't allowing me. There we go! Now I'm actually at a proper position. I still can't believe that happened! It's like a real life nightmare! I don't see Luigi and the others anywhere! Where could they be? I love how it really just faded to. Oh, I'm not doing a voice for her. I have a bad feeling about this. Wario and Waluigi were even more suspicious than usual. How come she gets to speak and not Peach? Yeah. She speaks! So anybody on the left side won't speak. Anybody on the right side will, besides Toad. Toad's gonna be like the avatar for Mario and all the silent protagonists. Hey, it sounds crazy, but I believe it was the racket's grip tape that wrapped up for Luigi. How unsettling. Mm -hmm. Toad. You know that, don't you? Don't you? Oh, you know something, don't you? That weird smell can't fool me. That's how Daisy sounds. Well, it's just a rumor, but they say this island was once home to the prosperous kingdom of Basque. Oh, of course. Basque ruins in the desert is a relic of that once great kingdom. I heard archaeologists went there recently to research it. <clears throat> Tennis was very popular in the kingdom of Basque. The ruined walls are filled with paintings of people playing. Among those wall paintings is one that's very strange, to say the least. It's of a spooky racket floating in the sky with people bowing down before it. It almost looks like the racket is controlling them. Oh no! We're completely shocked by that revelation! You know, depending, uh, even though the whole racket just absorbed Luigi and Wario and Waluigi. No, we're completely shocked that the racket is controlling people. This is a revelation that needs to be taken to the presses. But not the fake news media. Which is any, any news that you don't agree with. That's how it is nowadays. This is a joke. I don't need no political stuff in the comments. This is a joke. Relax. Um, a racket. A racket with magic here in Paris. Oh, goodness. That, that. Wait a minute. Are you suggesting that Luigi and the others are being controlled by an automatic tennis racket? We can't roll it out. For now, maybe we can find out more at Basque Voice. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're right. Let's go right now. Yes. Don't, I have a few choice words for you. Brat. Disgusting. Uh, trash. Uh, vile. Ugh. Yeah. Don't don't tell me what to do. As a matter of fact, I think my webcam I'm actually blocking her, which you know is a, is a plus. Anyway, um, wait, wait, wait. That sounds dangerous. Too dangerous for important diplomats like you two. She's a diplomat. Princess Peach. Oh, she is a princess. All right. I I can't deny facts like that. Please allow Mario. Mario and me to go investigate on your behalf. Besides, it's possible Luigi and the others will turn out while you're gone. Yes, that's true. In that case, we leave this important task to you, dear friends. We won't let you down. Come on, Mario. Let's head for that desert right away. Oh, no. See, this is the good Mario. I mean, this is the good Toad. You're just ready to so be sure to be fine with bringing Luigi back safely. Yeah. Hmm. Daisy showing specific interest in Luigi? Has the ship been sailed? Hmm. Well, it's already been sailed, but is it confirmed? So we are... Are we just walking in notes? Are we going to the left? Where's Bass Ruins? Provider Plant Forest. No, we're going the wrong way. Is this Bass Ruins? Bass Ruins. All right, let's do it. Dry Bones. Why isn't Dry Bones a character in this game? Why isn't Dry Bones a character? Die. Just, I get it. I get it. I, I, I had to like whole ninja kit it and I missed. There's a bug flying around. I'm going to get it. It's because I have all these lights here and bugs are just attracted to lights. And you know ain't no light shining brighter than me right now. Anyway, um, it's just flying around here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it, I promise you. Oh, look, it's the, um, Super Mario 3D World bugs. Stop right there. Past here is Basque Ruins. Unless you have important business there, you'd better scram. But we need to investigate the inside of those ruins. Oh. Can't you let us through? Pretty please? Well, why not? You don't seem like troublemakers, but you should know that Basque Ruins can only be entered by those who can play tennis. How plot convenient. <laughs> 
So if you want to pass through, you'll have to prove yourself by beating me in the match. Sure, can you be a permanent character? Looks like we got no choice, Mario. We can't move forward. Up. I swear, we have to go through tutorials. I don't want to go through tutorials. Bass Vorn, just play. Beat Dry Bones in a tennis match. One game, one set. Before we start, I see you have proper tennis attire, but that's no guarantee you can actually play. I'll go ahead and teach you to- Oh, no! No! Wow, I really have to um, master everything. You know what? This is a good time for me to learn the proper terms. So, toss, and then serve. Look at that flash shot. You should be a character. They probably just skinned Koopa Troopa over him. Looks like you've got a real knack for this. Try hitting the ball. All right, I I I'll do it. I already know. Where you at? Uh, yeah. And you suck. Yo, look at me. I got the skills to play the field. Look at this booty, man. Oh, uh, that's the stuff. After the serve, you and your opponent will hit the ball back and forth to try to score points. Of course, blah, 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 blah. Just play tennis. There we go. Say it to the right. Or uh, to the left. And you're done. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Booty. Booty so tight, man. I'm telling you, all my muscles in tennis comes from my butt. Like, it's just, it's so tight. Look at, look at bounce a penny off it. What am I talking about? If you want more speed, try using a powerful shot. I already know. I already know. There it is. Was that not a power shot? Wait, was that not a power shot? Um. Oh, wait. Was I, oh, am I just winning now? Oh, we're just playing the game now. Sweet. Sweet. Let's get it. To the left. Oh, okay, well, go to the right then. Like, I, I was thinking, like, yeah, I mixed it up on him, but no, like, he's just gonna stay in one corner and then fall out when he realizes that he's not adjusting his gameplay. What do you think you're doing? You think I'm here to play games? To the left. Bye. Look at that. Ooh, look at his booty. Look at his booty. Ooh. God dang. Get it. Match point. Oh, neato. Neato. Oh! Yo, we're playing cards, and I just hit you with the ace, son. We don't know if it's a third. Wait, no. We don't know if it's a 13 or a 0. Oh my god. Ah! I didn't remember like what an ace counts as. I was thinking like, uh, I think it's blackjack. I think we could say hit me, hit me, hit me. <laughs> oh no. I mean, oh yeah, we won. Who would have thunk? Alright, Basque Ruins. Now we can actually get into it. We're here at the Temple of Basque. The crown jewel of Basque Ruins. This is where those wall paintings were discovered. There's gotta be a clue in here. Um, alright, sure, let's get it. Play an ancient trial. Prove your tennis skills and solve the gate puzzle. Looks like I just had to use a top spin. Visitor to the Temple of Basque. Before or else, I require a display of skill. Okay. Okay, so it's still just tutorial. Right now, it wants. What shot? There we go. So it's a slice. So now I'm going to do a flat shot next, and then probably a, a lob shot, probably a lob shot. There we go. Lob shot next. Mmm, yep, lob shot and then drop shot. I know it's too predictable. Smack it. Woo, go on and smack that. Uh, and now a drop shot. To the left one this time. Yeah. There we go. I definitely did it. I definitely did it. Like, the crazy part is I definitely did it. I can't have it bounce at all? That's wild. I sense strength and honor, as well as great potential. I believe you have what it takes to overcome this trial. So what am I doing now? Use the different shots you know of to solve the mystery and open the gate trials. Okay, so top spin. This is all just a puzzle. Oh, man, I hate playing games day, uh, level one. I mean, you gotta go through it and I get it, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like when you know what you have to do, it's like this is nothing but slow. Oh man, I'm so mixed up. Oh, look, a slice. It's all right though. You got to think about the people who don't know the game that well. You got to know the uh, think of the people who, have, who haven't played the demo or don't know much about tennis. Because then it's like, but then again, they're not even telling you the name of the shots. They're just saying, hey, this is what you're using. So we got to do a lob shot now. Let's get it. <sighs> Oh, drop shot, drop shot, drop shot. Oh yeah, look at the booty. Oh, look at the booty. Oh, we got a slice right here. We got a slice right here. Get a slice. Oh my, oh, I didn't even let it bounce. I didn't even, I didn't even do that. Let's get it, let's get it. Oh, we speed, 
Get it up, boys! All right, last shot, last shot. Ooh, go to the bedroom! Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, cool, you opened it. That took, that was difficult. I felt the challenge. What's going on? Hurry up. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's a, that was a hammer bow. It was just, it's some sort of Koopa. It looks like a hammer bow. This game looks so good. Master Mario, I have been awaiting your most fated of arrivals. I am Aster, humble guardian of the noble King Basque. It is my duty to watch over the one called Lucian. Lucian, as you most certainly already know, is the name of, of an almighty racket. Actually, I didn't know, I thought it was the beast outside of the racket. It is a dangerous being with the power to control people. King Basque, who once ruled this kingdom, was awed by the racket's power and took it all as his own. In the end, it destroyed the entire kingdom. But with the last of his power, our king somehow managed to seal Lucian away. King Basque stripped the racket of his power. He then divided said power between five power stones. We're just missing one. Wait. No. No, no, no. It is six. It is six. It's one on each knuckle and then one on that palm. So yeah, almost there. Um, which he hid in different areas of this island. To ensure no one could ever restore Lucian's power to control people against their will, he hid the racket away in a secret room in his very temple. Since then, many ages have passed. Time took its toll and that room fell to ruin, breaking the seal. That's when the racket fell into new hands. But why would you just leave the little stones on the island? Why not try to send them anywhere? Oh, he probably didn't know back then. But still, I, I don't know. It seems like something to say, hey, you know, send it as far away as possible. Put it in a box and ship it out in the ocean. But have the box burn out from a fire or something. I don't know. Oh, boy. Uh, <clears throat> oh, boy. So Wario and Waluigi hurt the myth of the almighty racket and stole it for themselves. That's not good. Lucian had no trouble at all controlling two men so wholly motivated by greed. Yeah. I can certain I am certain that fell racket, racket will try to gather the five power stones and reclaim his original power. So it's gonna be one of those things where we're not gonna be able to stop it. We're gonna be chasing it to try to stop it, but at the end, we have to fight the mighty racket. I'm calling it now. Our only hope is for you to gather the five power stones before Lucian does. It sh can surely sense where his power resides. At some at some point in your journey, I'm afraid you will have to face those who wield Lucian's might. Of course. You, you hear that, Mario? You are going to have to say, face Lucian eventually. But how can we win against such power? With trick shots and special shots and zone shots with the zone shot champ. And, you know, of course, saying no to rage. Like, was it? Just buy the shirt. But it's a plug. Buy the shirt. Link in the description below. I'm just saying. It's a quality shirt. I'm waiting on mine to come in. But anyway, you must master the powerful tennis move called the special shot which was passed down for countless ages. Do that and you may just prevail. There was a contraption in this temple that allowed the ancient people of the Kingdom of Bass to train. Here, you may discover new powers hidden within. Is that me? Is that Shadow Me? It's like the uh, the warrior from Twilight Princess. In order to use the special shot, you must first master a new, I already know, I'm the zone shot champ, we out here. This is all just tutorial, got it. All right, oh look, no meter. Woo, you thought. I, although he didn't swing, so he could have hit it back. Uh, next. Fantastic. The power of the zone shot will damage your opponent's racket. An opponent whose last racket breaks from excessive damage will be unable to continue, which means they will lose the match. Perfect the zone shot and the way you approach the glorious game of tennis will be forever changed. There is no exaggeration. That is no exaggeration, merely fact. That is a quality statement. My man letting you know you're about to be witness to a whole new way of tennis. If, if you think of a zone shot as an attack technique, there's also a defensive technique that can counter it. It's called zone speed. All right, so we're learning about zone speed now. So he's gonna do a zone shot. Oh, wait. Oh, look it, look it. I can just hold it because I had no meter. I can just use it. Yeah, oh my god, this whole game is going slow. I have enough time to just figure out, yo, it's going to be a long weekend. Like, I'm going to be recording Mario Tennis Aces. I might want to spend time going out and finding out a meal to make in the crock pot. It seems like a really solid idea. Maybe some macaroni and beef, you know, like some helper, hamburger helper might be a good idea. Then again, I'm trying to fix my diet, so I don't really want to sit there and, you know, not have my vegetables. So maybe... Maybe I can just add vegetables to it. I'm not really sure. I mean, there's a lot of options that I could add to it, but I mean, we'll have to see. We really will have to see. 
I think I think what I'm going to do is just at least stop ordering the pizza. Oh, I should probably hit the ball, shit, man. Yeah. We had so much time to contemplate life. Exceptional. Zone speed is a great way to catch up to the ball. And don't worry, using it won't reduce the power of your zone shot. Just your meter. It's also advisable to work on your block time so you can perfect your racket from your opponent's zone shots. Come on. Oh, messed up. Uh, I wanted to see if I could just get the timing in together. Let me see. Zone, well, all right, you probably need the zone speed to see what direction it's going in. Oh, wait, I can just, all right. Are you worried, Master Mario? In order to hit a zone shot or use zone speed, you need to store up energy. I am already aware. I don't understand why you would even uh, tell me about something without telling me about me the first. It's like, know your basics. Look at this. There it is. Oh, that meter. Vom with L and press the shot button. Oh, okay, it was just telling me how to build that meter. All right, hurry up. A trick shot may use. Uh, oh wait, you know what? I should probably read this. You should know that trick shots are risky, though. If your timing is off, you end up losing energy instead of earning it. It's all about that timing. Yo, it's like all about that base. There it is. Oh, your reaction was a bit late. You hit a trick shot, but you, it, uh, but you also cost an energy. Okay. Your reaction was a bit late. That was real. That was late. Wow. This is a bit more um, tight than I realized. Hold up. No, let's retry that. How early does it have to be? Oh, there it is. No, I didn't use much energy, though. That I use, I'm using some energy still. Hit back! I'm trying to practice. This is actually like good practice. I didn't realize the timing for trick shotting without using meter was so tight. Like how how what, what's the distance? You see, it's it's just telling me my reaction was late. Oh, this is bothersome. It's just telling me my reaction is late, but it's not exactly telling me like I, I wish there was an indicator that says, hey, you know, you should do it now. It was a bit late. That time, wait, I lost meter though. Oh, you gotta do it before it gets within the little scope of the moon. Ah, oh, that's a big amount of meter charged up. Did y'all see that? We gained like two thirds of a meter from two perfect trick shots. One more time, I think I finally got it. This is this is dope, I'm, I'm about it. A little late, a little late, it's okay. Look at that. Look at how much meter we just built. Like, if y'all guys don't know, Whenever you build meter, it's going to show like a little circle next to the character. All that white meter we see is what we just built. That's crazy. That's so good. That's really good. Yo, I have just ascended. All right, all right. That's good. That's, that was a good tutorial. I was talking trash about it earlier, but that was a good tutorial. This is why you always run through the basics. Okay, then I believe it's finally time for you to unleash a special shot. I can do that. I already know how to do it. What do I wait for it? Yeah! Just mash the L button. Just mash the L button. Is it gonna show my meter? It is gonna show my meter. Yoink. You tried to block it. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are trying to block a special shot? Next. Mesmerizing. You now have learned all I have to teach you. You are truly a first rate tennis hero, Mario. The five sacred stones are hidden in the forest, the mansion, the snow, the sea, and the flames. I beg of you, please stop Lucian's return to power. That was it. That was that was the best kingdom. I don't even get to like finish a tennis match. It was just a tutorial kingdom. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. It's flying around. It's bothering me. That is awful. We've got to gather those power stones before Luigi and the others beat us to it. The five power stones hidden in the island's different regions. Well, no sense dawdling. Let's start with the forest. That's because that's the first place that's actually accessible to us. You can review how to play. I don't need to. I, I have mastered trick shotting. Like, I'm about to go online with the finest of quality now. But hey, yo, you know what? That was good information. This, this is all a tutorial video. I am fine to have gone through this. And now, with episode one out the way, 
the rest of the content this week. Oh, y'all already know it's gonna be story driven. I'm excited now. I know y'all excited as well, but you gotta let me know. Demolish the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure that you ring that bell to get notified of the next video. Next time, we're gonna be doing Piranha Plant Forest and trying to find the first Power Stone in Mario Tennis Ace the Story Mode. But for right now, it's time for me to dip. Say hot guys, and I'll see y'all next time.